style of business. You want to affect your walk to the best of your ability. So you're supposed to hate even the least of evil and stay away from it, especially in these last days where your spirit is being tried. All right, go ahead. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory and it's with exceeding joy. Right, now to our shot. He is able to, to present us faultless before the Most High. That's why the scriptures tell us in Matthew 5, be ye therefore perfect even as your Father in heaven. Don't be a trial. you got to get right, man, with these laws, with these scriptures. Check yourself, which you should have been doing anyway. You know? I hear a lot of brothers and sisters say, hey, i got to take my spirit to another level. You should have been taking your spirit to another level. Uh-huh. You know? But so much the more as we see the day approaching. All right, read on. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. So it's, it's just, you know, saying what it's saying. It's self-explanatory. The Most High. To the Most High, we are how we shine. Remains all the power and glory and majesty forever and ever our mind. So we're coming into some serious times. Prophecy is hitting left and right. You know, New York flooded. New Jersey flooded. Certain parts of Pennsylvania flooded. People dying. You know that you never really hear people dying like that in in floods in, in like New York City, except when we have Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Sandy, that was that was made. That was a major smack to New York. Most top smack New York again with Hurricane Ida. And the most high judges. You know the city is not wicked as the damn people. The city is just a physical place. But the people are wicked as hell. Eight million demons there. So the Most High is bringing judgment. Well, eight million people live there besides the righteous Israelites that's keeping a commandment. You know what I'm saying? Millions of demons there. The Most High is smacking these places up in Jersey. South Jersey, one of the most racist parts of the country. You have no idea. You can't, you can't imagine how John experienced Jersey, all of Jersey hell. Damn country, but they'll act like they so liberal and they so different. Hell no. They will hang your ass in New Jersey. Racist as hell. Especially them state troopers. You know what I'm saying? I'm not damn New Jersey certified. Racist as hell. Those people in New Jersey. And all of America, all of these people. But these, these states try to act like they so dead. No. Racist as hell. Most high judgment. New York, big apple, big city, melting pot, still racist as hell. Niggas is wicked there. Israel is wicked. Nations are. That's how I'm going to flood y'all, man. Some trains be off, be all kinds of dope fiends and poorish women and. and Get Jake on them damn subways. Folks have flooded them subways, man. So it's judgment, man. It's judgment all around us, even in the midst of so-called COVID pandemic. Most I said, I'm bringing floods, earthquakes, storms, rain, thunder. You know what I'm saying? So it's judgment. We're living in a time of judgment. It's going to continue. The fall, all the fall is going to do is bring in more judgment. So we got to gear up and be strong and be ready for whatever. You know, be strong and say, look, whatever going to come down, the most I'm going to have our back. I know some of y'all, you're going to get a little nervous. How are we going to survive? What are we going to do? Oh, my God. What are we going to have? You know, that's where you got to put your faith in. And be yeah. strong. Most I can rain manna from heaven. He can make quail come up on the ground. You know, whatever. Most I, you know, we did it in ancient time with our people. We can do it now. They're going to make a way. You just got to have faith. Because once they tell you to take that job or lose your job, you got to make a decision. And I told y'all before, just because I'm the elder or we the elders of senior men, we ain't going to tell you exactly what to do. We'll tell you what we would do. But if I'm not telling you, 
oh, don't take the job, okay. Don't take the job. You don't need your job, you're homeless. You ain't blaming it on me. But what I will tell you is, I'm not taking nobody's job. To the best of my ability, I'm going out like a champion. Or take the job and you get sick or jacked up or die. Oh, the elder said, well, just use wisdom and take the job because you got to eat, you got to feed your family. Look, that decision is yours. But I will tell you, as much as you can, do not take that job. Have faith. Be strong. That's what I would do. But whatever decision you make, the people have come to me in confidence and they said they did what they had to do. All right, brother, that was your decision. That's between you and the most high. Right? But these people say, look, I have to do what I have to do. I got to survive. Ain't nobody going to pay my bills. Ain't nobody going to look out for me and my family. Israel can say, well, I faith, brother, just quit that job. And the most high going to look out for you. But everybody's faith is not that strong. If a person say, look, I ain't going to get my paycheck in a few more weeks because I didn't take this job and my baby's looking at me like, how we going to pay the rent? How we going to eat? Whatever. So that's a that's a tough decision most Israel have to make. But, you know, I already said in my mind, I ain't taking nothing. You know, me and my family, we got to do what we got. But everybody, you know, I would hope that you would make the right decision. But you ain't putting the blame nothing on me. I, I, the elder told me this to do that, no. Whatever decision you make, or between you and the Most High, we will help y'all to the best of our ability. But when it comes down to the wire, you got to do what you got to do. People came back and told me, like I said, I'm like, oh, no, brother. Yo, brother, I had to do what I did. Ain't, ain't nobody that's going to feed my family. I'm like, damn, man, you have to make that tough decision. You know, but um, stay strong, Israel, as much as you can, man. And, and I would suggest... If you're going to go out, go out strong. Go out with your boots on. But ultimately, the decision is yours. All right? Uh, Everybody understand? Uh, All right. Now, don't go be don't go be talking behind my back now, goddammit. <laughs> oh, the elder should have just said, don't take the shot. You know what I'm saying? Not over-righteous dudes, but, yo, I will tell you this. Have faith in the most high in your house shot. Because he can deliver you through anything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God. Uh -huh. Shalom. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But you ain't, you ain't, you ain't finna be homeless and blame it on me. Hell no. Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. Somebody, somebody said something? I said Shalom, brother Joshua. Shalom, Joshua, Lebanon in the building. Call me a shout. So any Call questions or comments, Israel? I'm a, um, I'm about to give it back to brother Kasadia. I didn't really want to interrupt his lesson, but there's some serious times now, and uh, we gotta be on, we gotta be ten toes down, Israel, okay? Uh, uh, and uh, we gotta bring y'all, we gotta bring forth some lessons, man, so we can. Y'all can strengthen y'all faith because y'all, y'all, we're going to be tried, Israel. We're about to be tried. That faith is about to be tried. So, uh, and it's going to be tried on different levels. So, any questions or comments before I pass it back to the brother? Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, brother. It's good to hear, hear you on the, on the uh, call tonight. Uh -huh. You got to raise the point for little sister. <laughs> Shalom, brother. I was just saying it's good to hear you on the call tonight. Thanks, God. I know I've been, I've been MIA on a Thursday night call. So forgive me. Forgive me, Israel. There's a lot. There's a lot of levels to doing this work. Let me just say that. Uh -huh. So um, forgive me, but just because y'all may not see us teaching all the time, there's other aspects of this work that have to be done on different levels. And, I mean, to be honest, right now, a lot of people just need moral support, man. Israel, Israel is valid, you know. So um, 
a lot of people need counseling. They just need moral support. You know, everybody's faith is not as strong as others. So, you know, like I said, there's been quite a few deaths, you know, even within the nation. You know, the death is coming into the nation now. We, we're dealing with funerals and we are clean and it's, it's just a lot going on. And people losing people, people in the faith dying, people in the faith family members are dying. You know, so it's, we, we're dealing with a lot this in this trying time. So, you know, those are all different levels there of the work. You know, um, so just keep that in mind because we're not always talking about the latest news or the sensationalism or we didn't talk about the light or what everybody want to talk about, the drama and the hype. But there's different levels to this work. You may just, you may have to be there on the phone with a brother or sister for two, three hours. They just lost a loved one. They feeling weak. They feeling sad. They feeling depressed. You know, and you got to get them scriptures and comfort and and, and uh, advice and different things of that nature. You know, but Israel wants you to talk about the life and whether he's a rapist or not. And we can talk about that too, but there's different levels to this work. You know, everybody understand? Yes. <laughs> Uh, All right. Uh, so um, just keep that in mind. Uh, keep that in mind. And the spiritual man or woman, you're going to notice that. You're going to know that. It may not always be. It may not always be about talking about the hottest and latest news story. You may have to be there for a brother or sister because they 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 mother sick and they don't know how to handle it or. A close family member died, and they need scriptures on that, and they don't know how to process that, and they feel depressed, and now they feel like, oh, oh, the most high, most high take me because I want to be with my family. So there's different levels to this work that we got to cover, and, um, you know, we got to try to be there for our people on all angles. All right, so... I might mean, want to hear. Well, I want to. I want to see the elder do a video on the light. I knew he was a wicked rapist. That's what the most I. That's what he get for shooting up the Bible. That's what he get for talking about Israel. Yeah. That's very well, but so. But at that time, I might be on the phone with a brother crying his heart out because he just lost the child. I might be on the phone with a sister because she just. She's crying her heart out because she just lost the parents. So keep in mind there's different levels to this work. Right? Uh, 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 so don't get uh, uh you know, don't get uh we lose people in HOI sometimes because they want us to be like the other camps. The grass is always greener on the other side. Well, this champ always doing this, and this champ always doing a video about that, and this champ, and they, they, and they always breaking this down, and they breaking this down, and that, you know, there's levels to this work. So just keep that in mind. But we here, we love y'all, and we're going to do this work to the best of our ability, and we're going to cover all angles of this work to the best of our ability. So don't always get caught up in the hype and the drama and the sensationalism. Learn the compassion, the humility, the patience, the faith, and the weightier matters of the law, like the Habesh I spoke about. Okay? Okay. 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 Okay.
I ain't in that place in a while. <laughs> no, I meant to call you, but you be so busy, so. Yeah, yeah, we got to catch up. I, can, I, um, I owe Detroit a visit, man. The last couple of trips I didn't make it, but I owe Detroit a visit. I got y'all this fall, and I hope I will. Come, come, we waiting. Come. Yeah. I got y'all this fall, the most I will, man. I got to come spend a nice, good, chunky weekend with y'all. Do some classes and some camp and some fellowship. <laughs> so most I will, I got y'all this fall. All right? Uh, 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 uh. But, uh, you know, give me, uh, somebody give me Jack for one in seven. I'm going to give it back to the side and let the brother finish up his message. Somebody give me Jack for one in seven. One of the classics. Classic. Joshua chapter one verse seven. Joshua 1 verse 7. Be quick on them for us. Who's reading? Uh, Brother Kadash, the book of Joshua, chapter 1 verse 7. Only Everybody have a big time? Come. Right. Yeah. Joshua 1 and 7. Come. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. See that? Only be most... strong. So like you, only be thou strong and very courageous that you may do according to all the law. All right, that the most I gave to Moses, of course, to give to Israel. Come on. Which Moses, my servant, commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. See that? Joshua said, look, man, don't turn from the law to the right hand or to the left. What, what is Joshua also famous for saying? As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Come. 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 Right, go ahead. That thou mayest uh. prosper whithersoever thou goest. That's it. That's it. it, it, it it's, it's too simple. It's black and white. Do the way, do the one of the most high, and you will prosper whithersoever you go. Prosperity always don't mean money. It don't mean material things. You can prosper spiritually. You can prosper mentally. You can prosper by more brothers and sisters waking up to the word. You can prosper by more camps being opened up. You can prosper by gaining more wisdom, getting more diligent in your studies, learning more, learning precepts. So there's many ways to prosper in the spirit of the Most High in your house shot. It's not just money and material things. Right, read on. Verse 8, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. The book thou of the law, we all know, is the Bible, the Torah. All right? But all of the scriptures is law. From Genesis to Revelation is law. Even when you're reading stories, when you're reading stories in the Bible, that's law. You know why it's law? Because that story is teaching you a lesson. That story may teach you what to do or what not to do. That's law also. All right, read on. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. But thou may so observe. Meditate. So like you meditate in these laws, statutes, and commandments day and night. Meditate in these scriptures day and night. Read the scriptures, study. Take time out each day to read, study the scriptures, at least a couple of chapters, and meditate on it. Just read the scriptures and meditate on them. Ask the most how to open your understanding. Even though y'all have senior men and elders to teach y'all, but you read and study it on your own, the understanding is going to come to you also. Not leaning onto your own understanding and creating doctrine, but getting a righteous understanding from the most high. And when you bring it out, the elders going to be like, yeah, brother, that's true. That's the understanding of that scripture. That's the same way we understand it, and that's the same way we teach it out of the Bible. Because the spirit will start working with you once you apply yourself. Fine? Fine. 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 Fine.
that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Right. But then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Right. Then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So like I said, it's black and white. It's right there. It's telling you. Do right by the most high. And these are the things that I'm going to bring to you. I'm going to prosper you. I'm going to prosper your spirit. I'm going to prosper your righteousness. I'm going to prosper your light. I'm going to let your light shine. Uh, all right? That's why That's why a lot of times the, the people hate you, man. You ain't do nothing yeah. to them but that demon in them. It takes that righteousness in you. Mm. Oh. Give me um, give me one more Psalm 120 and the last verse. I believe it is. Psalm 120 and the last verse. I believe it is. If y'all been paying attention, they be getting they be getting more violent towards the tent. <laughs> they shit. They shot at the brothers from Sakari. Right, they uh they shot at they shot at the brothers from IUIC. They shot, uh. shot at them twice. They they shot at um IUIC twice. Brother Joel and them. They they surrounded Joel and the Sons of Thunder. They surrounded them with guns in Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, uh. We, um H. What do you say? Yo, the uh, like you say Sakari did that. Sakari did what? Uh, I, I I didn't hear you. I, I misheard. I, I didn't hear. You. I didn't hear well. Can you repeat no, yourself? Some guy, a guy and his wife shot at the Sakari brother. Wow. Huh. Because um, there was a there was a brother and his wife that believe in the Negro only doctrine, and they got into a dispute in Seattle. Washington with the Sakari camp and they shot up. The really the really had to run for his life. Uh the IUIC camp, the IUIC camp got shot at in two different cities. One of their brothers got shot in the head in St. Louis. And then the blood gang members came and shot at um the IUIC brothers, as they were speaking at a gas station, some blood gang members came and shot at them. Hmm. Some, uh, some Black Lives Matter protesters, they surrounded Brother Joel and them in Atlanta with guns. Yeah. When we came, when all the brothers came out here to California, this, um, this crip dude, supposed to be an Israelite, but he still want to be a crip, we got into it with this brother because we've been going back and forth with him on the internet. We got in, we got into it with him and he threatened to shoot us and it almost went down that night, but I stopped it. I stayed in the spirit. I kept everybody calm because we have women and children out there and I, I wasn't going to allow nothing to happen with women and children out there. Uh. You know, so now I got to I gotta kind of be on point out here in Cali because this brother, he threatened to shoot me like three times. Mm. You know, so, I, and I, you know, I live out here with my family, so I got to be on point out here. I, 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 I hear nothing. I, I put my trust to the most high, and, um, you know, I don't want to have to do nothing to defend myself. I will, but this is the stuff we're going to. Uh, I serve the Lord, and it's all a hatred. It's a hatred spirit. I can see that hatred in the brother's eyes when he was threatening me. I can see that hatred in his eyes. Yeah. Shoot you. You see that hatred. And, he, and this, this guy, he's supposed to be an Israelite, but he still want to be a, 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 a crip gangster. He's, he's, uh, he's got one foot in the world and one foot in the truth. But this is the stuff we going through out of pure hatred. There's nothing legitimate behind it. This stuff that can be settled in five minutes. But that demon on these people, they hate the spirit of Yahweh in you. They hate the truth. They hate righteousness. So that's what that demon is driving them. Mm -hmm. So it's getting more and more, it's getting rougher for the men of the Lord to be out here teaching this word. People are actually coming to the camp shooting that brother. Mm -hmm. 
brothers are actually getting shot by people that hate you for teaching the gospel. All right, so read Psalms 120 and the last verse, I believe it is. Uh, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 120, in verse 7. When everybody has to say, Khan. Khan. I am Khan. I am, I am for peace. But when I speak, they are for war. See that? We are for peace. We setting our people to repent, keep the commandments. Come back to the most high, your how we shot. We was in the world, some of us come from the street, some of us come from certain backgrounds. A lot of this stuff, you know, that's going on, you would have handled it differently. But now you and your harvest child, you for peace, you got a lot to lose. You got you got chefs, you got brothers and sisters, you got family, you got children, you got the, you can't make no nigga decision like you would have if you was in the street. If you were 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 25, even 30 years old. What nigga threaten me, shoot me, what? You know what I'm saying? But you can't, you gotta be in a spirit now. We are for peace. We are for your shot. We're not those old men anymore. Of course, any man will still defend himself. You know, the Vikings warriors were also men of the Lord, but you gotta think now, you gotta be smarter. You know? When you put in these different positions, now you gotta be smarter and make smarter decisions. And, you know, if I make this decision and, and go all out, or put in this work, so to speak, to defend myself, because you justified, you're, you're being threatened. But is it worth it? Am I going to just stay in the spirit and let the most high handle it and just be on point and protect myself and, and keep an extra watchful eye? These are the things that men of the Lord are going to in these last days. Because of that hatred, that hatred against the, the, the righteousness that you speak. Them demons are so heavy on the people, they want to get rid of you and, and, and stop that word from going out into this world. <laughs> right? Read on it. That was the last verse. So that's, it, that's it. That's it on that. Read Psalms 120 and the last verse again. I think it's verse 7. Read that again. Verse 7. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. See that? We are for peace. But when we speak, the people are for war. All right? Like Damon said, they hate him that rebuke from the gate. Like Yahweh Shah said, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and revile you and separate you from their company. For my name's sake. It can't be nothing else because like, well, what did I have to do to you, brother? What did I do to you? If there's a problem, we can talk and settle it. Yeah, how was I said they're going to hate you for my name's sake. They hate that righteousness. That's the only way to explain it because there's nothing else. When you try to make sense of it, there's nothing else. They hate that righteousness in you and they want to destroy it. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. We are for peace. We go out there to tell our people, listen, wake up. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Any righteous man of the most high your house shot in this group, we're not going out there for no drama. You know, certain brothers, they spirit is still, you know, everybody oh. loves us different. Because it's just because the brothers in the truth. I know certain brothers that be ready to handle their business. You know, and they, they still spirit you, but they like, look. You got brothers that are more calm. You got brothers that are more laid back, brothers that are more... Brothers that have prayed and fasted and repented to the level of they more calm now, they got more control over their spirit. Years ago, they might have would have just put that work in with no problem and been laughing from a jail cell. Yeah, I got, yeah, I do this 15 years, you know, it is what it is. That nigga violated, I have to deal with it. But we're not doing that no more. We're spiritual men. Some brothers are still put that work in and do that 15 years and takes the wrong from a damn jail cell. Mm. You know? But in different levels, but most, for the most part, we are for peace. We're trying to teach our people, look, let's keep these laws, statutes, and the commandments in the spirit and do this work. But when we speak, they are for war. The brothers in Seattle, they, they shot at Gorilla Hebrew and them. 
because they some Negro only Israelites because they got Hispanics in their camp. This is what's going on. Evil shoot that evil over doctrine. Look, you don't believe that Hispanics, you don't believe that Hispanics are Israelites. Go somewhere with your all Negro camp and fellowship with your all Negro. What do you shoot that brothers for? Mm -hmm. Or or you should just bring out the scriptures. Yo, y'all got them Hispanics and Native Americans in y'all camp. Yo, y'all need to get them out of y'all camp, man. Those are not our people. But over here, we just want to congregate with Nicholas. That shows it's a demon on you. And you only believe, you only believe in that doctrine so you can be against one West brothers. You probably got hatred for one West camp and brothers. And that's why you, you, you want to believe in that doctrine so you can have beef with other brothers. So you can justify, I'm going to shoot at these brothers because they bring in heathens into Israel and they destroy the nation. So I'm justifying and shooting them. This is the demons that are out here in these last days. Okay? Son. 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 So that's Son. what we're up against, Israel. Evil, pure evil. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. They hate him that refuse him from the gate, and they abhor him that speak uprightly. Amos 5 and 10 by Shema Mashiach Yahushua. All right, so um, I just put my little two cents in there. Um, I just put the call into the class, give some encouragement. I haven't been on for a while. I'll be back. I know I said that 70 times, seven times, but most I will. I'll be back on some of these classes. Um. Yeah, I know we're having a hard time with YouTube, so it's touch and go with these channels, man. We're doing the best we can. We got the Patreon set up. We're working on the website and other avenues to gotta get this word. So uh, just be patient with us. All right. Um, feast days are coming up. Um, the Feast of Trumpets, September 6th. Day of Atonement, um, I believe it's September 15th, if I'm not mistaken, that even is on the calendar. Feast of Tabernacles, September 20th through 28th. So everybody stay in the spirit, try to congregate, try to, um, you know, fellowship, whatever city you're near. Um, New York, L.A., Atlanta, D.C., um, Vegas, Buffalo, Milwaukee, Detroit, Chicago, Illinois, um, Philly, you know, if I forgot anybody, Salakia, um, but try to uh, fellowship, you know, to the best of your ability. Uh, contact us, and um, we can give you a city near, you know, to fellowship for the future. So um, that's about it. I'm passing back to Kasaja. I don't want to take up the brother's time and let them. I don't want to ramble, keep rambling on, but um, just wanted to get in a touch base with the family. All praise to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach El Shai from Yashala. Um, good to hear you too, Sister uh, Amara, Brother Jeremiah, everybody on here. Any questions uh, or comments before I get off? Any questions or comments? Anybody need to say anything to me personally before I pass it back to uh, Kataja and let him continue his lesson? Shalakia, I wanted to say that uh, um, keep the faith, my brothers, keep the faith, because uh, it's going to be a time where we ain't going to be preaching no more. I forgot the scripture, but we, we're going to be absent, and they're going to be looking for us. Uh, fine, fine, fine. Well, that's, in Amos, and that's, that's in Amos, and that's in Second Ezra. The word, the word is the word is going to always be there and being taught on a certain level, but it's not going to be readily available like it is now. All right. Go ahead. Somebody else has a This is um, just a couple of issues. This is continue to go to camp now that you know it's just going to camp. So should this be attending camp? Is it safe? I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll come down with a decision on that as a camp. 
we'll come down with a decision on that. If we decide to, uh, you know, tell Sister to fall back for now, um, we'll let y'all know. You know, it hasn't been, these are, it's, it's just random. It's isolated incidents. It hasn't been, you know, in back-to-back massive incidents. When it gets to that level, we definitely want to tell Sister to fall back. But it's random incidents, and it's the most high showing us that. Well, but uh, when we have to make that decision, we keep y'all posted. Lorraine Keith, God, says, all praises are in the ball. All right, sorry. And uh, uh, your jab letters should be on the way soon, so if I didn't forget about you. Uh, uh, anybody else? Okay, Cardinal. Um, I have to back to Brother Kasaja, HOI Philly. Call me, Ashala. Like we still got next. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. How about you? My Chiaki, I was shy. I need to eat anything or ask anything else to me. Just uh, hit me up. Most of y'all should have a way to get in contact with me. And, um, Lord, when I speak to you, brothers and sisters, God, sooner than later. What is that? Huh? Oh, Lord. 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 <laughs> what, a, what a tree, what a tree. Oh, a tree. Oh, tree. Oh, you know, that's beautiful. And the elder talk, uh, let me get Proverbs 1, verse 5. Oh, sure. Mm. You know, wisdom. In these last days, that's, that's more important than, than gold and silver. You know what I'm saying? And understand that exactly what he's saying is exactly what he's been saying. You know, talking about, you know, mandatory. When things are mandatory, you know, they, they came from the top, from the president. So, they, you know, people are losing their they job, and they try to get another job, and they say, oh, you can't work here unless you got it. You know what I mean? That's that's that mandatory and they try to block um, the unemployment, you know? Uh, yeah. So I uh, hope you, uh, everybody was listening and paying attention to exactly what the elder was saying, all right? Let's go to uh, Proverbs 1 and 5, for sure. Come on. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 5. When everybody loves you, say, come on. Uh, come on. Uh, a wise man will appear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Uh, so when out of the box it's on and able to, to uh, you know, you sitting there breaking down scriptures and everything, you know, really pay attention to what he's saying, you know, that the elder, as you already know, he speaks the oracle. You know what I'm saying? He speaks the oracle of the most high. You know what I mean? And like I said, that's more important than a Ferrari. You know? It's more important than a than a than a, uh, a mansion. You know what I'm saying? Listening to um wise counsel in the last days. So getting ready, like you said. So get ready. You know, if you're not ready, Get ready. All right? So, the water, the water, the water. You know, all praise the most high. Be able to uh, hear those words in these last days. Keep us focused. Keep us going in the right direction. All right. All right. So, let's go back to, uh, we just read, okay, read Amos 9 and 8. Let's go to Syrac 23 and 19. Amos was talking about the eyes of the Lord upon a simple kingdom. You know, he's going to destroy this baby. 
much. You know, we don't want any any parts. You know what I mean? It takes this place to destroy it. You know what I mean? But we, we pray and and we follow the law, statutes, and commandments that we can be saved. You know, our people can be saved. You know. And that's it's crucial. It's crucial. You know, you got you got people that right now that have you know um, billions and billions of dollars, millions and millions of dollars. So it doesn't mean anything when the Most High turns his eye at you and and, and he does it for uh, uh, oh, what can your money do? What can your Bentley do? What can you know, your jewelry do, your, you know, all that worldly stuff means nothing. The, the protection from the most high is everything in these last days. All right. Uh, so uh, let's go to Syrac 23, verse 19. Mr. Circus Syrac, 23, verse 19. You know everybody else, you say, come on. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. Behold, you are the You can't look at the sun. The sun, if you look at the sun long enough, you, you, you know, you, you're going to have some trouble. Your eyes are going to be, uh, um, you know, you get, you get, you get, go beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. So there's nothing you, you can get away with dealing with the most high God. All right. 10,000 times brighter than the sun. He's everything. He weighs. Your thoughts, all that. Secret places, everything. Okay. So doing the right thing in these last days is is it's it's the only thing that we got. You know? Doing with the will of the most high. You go contrary to that, where you gonna go? Where you gonna hide? And I and um the uh he he saw move to the suburbs. I mean those houses are nice up there in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. You could see the inside of people's houses after it, that the tornado ran through it. You know what I mean? Bloody. All these things that that happened that happened yesterday in a twenty four hour period. It's not going to make the news, you know. You know, they talk about it for a couple of days, and a week nobody's going to talk about it no more. But it still happens. It's not like once the news stops reporting it, they, they, the houses are built back up. This is a matchstick, you know. All right, so let's go to um, second Ezra. Verse 50. So, so that day, we really got to be uh, focused. We really got to be focused, knowing that the Most High is watching the sinful kingdom. He has his eye on us. You know, the angels are watching us. You know what I'm talking about? This is the time period where you continue to focus more and more each day, getting stronger and stronger. You don't want to go backwards. Keep going forward. You know what I mean? Like the elder said, it's shooting at the camp. You know? Angel, uh, 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 angry Negroes, Asian provocateurs, the whole... The whole uh, uh, knowledge all over, whichever way, whichever angle, 
you know, like the brother says, we get time period where um, it's going to be a famine of the word. Got to get it now while it's here. Figure out what we should be doing, um, figuring out the law, and how to operate. Okay, so we don't, you know, it's like reading the, uh, you know, the instruction manual while you, while you run it. You know, learn now. Read it now. Okay? And that instruction manual is uh, Bible, the Law of Steps and Commandments. All right, you can bring that out. Second Editor's 8, to be focus on. You pick up the second Ezra's chapter 8 and verse 50. For many of of everybody say clown when you have <laughs> For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. So, many great miseries in the latter time were in the latter time. You know, that's why so many floods and fires and people getting struck by the Lord. And, uh, during a clear day, that, that life guard got struck by lightning during a clear day. Another person in Jersey got struck by lightning a couple months ago. He's on the golf course, the seventh hole. He gets struck by lightning on a clear day. So they're trying to say this is normal. It's when? I don't remember this happening. You know what I mean? It's the, I, I followed these. I've been following them for years. I don't remember people getting struck by lightning when it's nice outside. Normally it's a, a, a um, storm cloud going, you know, going over the, the um, you know, the, the region or whatever. You know, even then, I don't hear people being struck by lightning like that. So it's a couple months. You know it's a judgment. You know the most high is living in this place. You know he's taking people off of here. You know, and he walked in great fire. You know, uh, life is good. I can do whatever I want. Uh, I'm right because I'm white. Most high said not today. Would you really find this right? All right, let's go to um, Isaiah 16, verse 6. Let's not get Esau. Moab's having a rough go about it this year. Moab's having tornadoes. Moab's having earthquakes. Moab's had a flood. Somebody who was filming it, filmed this guy going down. It, it looked like a, a white water rapid. It was a, it was a street over there in China. The guy is screaming at her to, to help. She's like, you know, what the hell is this? He's like, I don't know what he's saying. That's yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I tried to decipher it. it. It seemed like he was in a little bit of distress. Let's just say that. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do. As soon as you're stepping up, you know, that, 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 uh, that white water rabbit, you're going right along with him. <laughs> he knows where he ended up. Right, but Moab is pride is prideful. You know it has just going this towards, right? Mm-hmm. Truth getting your nails done with, with Moab. They talk in their language behind the scenes. You know they make it funny, you know they laughing, they can speak English, they choose not to. You go for over here, you can have you can be a dime short. Talk about the tour you bought. A dime short, Moab will not let you go. He doesn't need that dime. Moab's trying. He's selling, he's selling you plastic rights in GMO food. You know, I, I've seen videos where they bring dogs. You can see the dogs in the box. It's a, it's a, it's a cardboard box. The guy dropped his dog on the ground. It's frozen steps. And the person's filming it. You know what I mean? They're, they chop the dog up, put him in the pool. Eat it. Uh, right? And Moab, you know, all profit. But you can't go, you can't let go from a dime. Now it's not about the money. It's just about the disdain he has for God's chosen. 
Mm-hmm. And that's why the most high is jacking them up. He's putting them, he's giving them a big head where they think they're going to um, go against America, which they are. You know, but America got some for them as well. They're not going to, it, 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 it's a myth that the yellow man is going to run the world. I don't know where that came from. That's nothing to do with the Bible. But Moab thinks that's going to happen. So while he's getting ready to invade Taiwan, he's talking about bombing Japan. They nuke in Japan. What happened to the stop Asian Asian? You can't nuke somebody and say you love them. Uh, let's bring that out. Uh, Isaiah 16 and 6. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 16, verse 6. We have heard of the pride of Moab. He is very proud, even of his hearty, in his pride, in his wrath. But his lives shall not be so. Huh. So, our bad pride, go for destruction. Let Moab be pride, prideful. Because the Most High is watching them, and the Most High is jacking them up. So, as much as he continues on, on this path of, of thinking he's better than everybody, the Most High is just setting them up. It's a setup. You know, it's luck. Go ahead. Um, brother, I'm about to walk into my job. This is in the parking lot. Uh, Twenty minutes. Watch it. Eight o'clock in. Three. Hi. Uh, we need another reader. Hey, that normal. Shalaki. Hi. Hi, and brother, how are you? What? Your hands and take a shower. 
Ah, we'll probably fix the shit overnight. You never know. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know the most high. He, he's, uh, you know, bringing the variants on, but these nations are just so dirty, especially these ones. They're so dirty that they carry around everything. Coronavirus, uh, ringworm, whatever you think of that, that can get on the human top. They have it on their hands. When we go out there to teach, they're like, hey, all right, man, I appreciate you guys doing, man. Put her there. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> There's no way I'm shaking that dirt on here. Who last time you wash your hands? And then they just look, give you a look like, oh, you're ready to I don't wash my hands. But they're from the cleft of the rock. So, I mean, there's no showers there. You know what I'm saying? They're used to stuff like that. That's why, you know, they, they evolved into exactly what they are today. The same people they were back then. Well, I'm not going to bring them down. Let's, let's get there. With the 18, oh, sure. uh, Very powerful to the people. You know? But it's going to fall. They, when I say it's going to fall, they are falling. And the time period, they want to bring everybody down. So they know they can't be seen. That's why I said the devil knows you have a short time. They're the devil. They're the deceiver. They know when your hour shy cracks that sky open and he sees a picture of some hippie, some, you know, uh, murderous, incestuous hippie with blonde hair and blue eyes saying that them. They're caught with the bag. You caught red handed. That's why they're, they're oh, we, we, everybody has to get the jab. Matter of fact, we're going to make sure that, that the black people get it first because, you know, you guys are, uh, we, we treat you bad so, so much, we're going to give you the first shot at it. No, it's cool. You got it. Enjoy yourself. We, 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 we're doing what else, you know what I'm saying? Like the other thing, you know what I mean? You know, the, you know your situation. I know I'm never going to get that job. I know it took five months to make. I know that when the, the drug companies say don't pause the acid, when the drug companies say heart inflammation happens, when the drug companies say that it doesn't even work, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to the people that made it as well. You know? So, they know they got a short time. All right, uh, uh, you can bring that out. Proverbs 16 and 18, both so. Uh, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 18. When everyone have it, say, Khan. Mm -hmm. Proverbs, chapter 16. Go with before destruction, and in Holy Spirit before he fall. Uh, so, they're about to destroy their pride, they're smiling on the Titanic, dancing on the Titanic, this place is sinking. Um, how many variants can hit this place before it has to shut down again? Two teachers uh, died in a town near Waco, Texas. They had to shut down the whole school. So we got to understand one thing that's You know, of course he's lying every time he opens his mouth, but it's what he doesn't say. Those two teachers died, right? They didn't say that they didn't take the jab. If they didn't take the jab, that would have been breaking news all over the place. They didn't say they died of the um, virus. All right? So, listen to what you saw there. You don't gotta believe it, but listen. They say 99% of the people that died or in the hospital didn't take the jab. So when did you start counting? Did you start counting the people dying when there was no jab to take? So of course everybody died was unjabbed because there was no jab. The CDC is very crafty in how they're how they're doing this thing and how they're getting their statistics. If somebody that's jabbed up, 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 
um, uh, oxygen, good steroids, good everything, but a bed, because there might not be any bed, one thing, or, you know, they say, all right, this person got stabbed, so, you know, we'll just let them go home, and they get, you know, fend for themselves at home. So that person's not counted as being hospitalized, even though they were in a hospital. Very crafty counsel with these people, you know what I mean? All right, let's go to, uh, Let's go back to Second Ezra, Public Shaw. Uh, Second Ezra, eight and twenty-one. Slot you. All right, go ahead. I was uh, I was going to add to that. What happened to the common cold? What happened to HIV? What happened to heart attacks? What happened to uh, just dying of old age? They don't even report that no more because they blame it all on COVID. Uh, uh, yeah, what happened to the flu? Nobody gets flu anymore. It's a bigger more. You know what I mean? It's nasty. So it just it heightens up the numbers. And if the CDC is the big, after, uh, first off, the FDA, they had two senior, was the FDA the uh, rocket? Is it FDA or CDC? I'm not sure. But um might be the CDC. There are two senior uh, specialists, I don't want to say jab specialists or whatever, uh, resigning. One's resigning in October, and I believe the other one's resigning in November. Mm-hmm. They're real something off the Titanic. You know? Mm-hmm. Let, let the world realize that the thing doesn't work. And it was a whole, it was a lie from the beginning. And then as soon as you start looking at things, start looking up names, or you work there, oh, where'd you live? You know what I mean? People start coming over there because it's affecting businesses, it's affecting livelihoods. Oh, you saw as well. Hey, not you saw those. You saw as ready to shut anything down. Mother Marine. Some people are getting at us. So long. Some people are getting out of dodge. You know? But yeah, like saying, uh, all, everything else disappears when it comes to this. And they don't talk about nothing else on the 19 years but this, all day, 24 hours a day. If you keep telling somebody something over and over and over, some people are getting it now, they feel like, I'm not going to get it. They just keep watching the news, watching the news. Oh, if you don't get this one out, you know, and constantly, months and months, you're like, yo, I got to get it. You're now brainwashed. That's what it is. It's brainwashing. So, um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's get back to the scripture. Uh, second address, 851, Bubba Kishaw. Uh, this is Second Edges, chapter 8, verse 51. Uh-huh. Second Edges, chapter 8, verse 51. For understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory of such as be like thee. Uh-huh. So, we got a good life minded. We're all on the same um, path, so to speak. Like the elder said, some have uh, more faith than others. Experiences and uh, how much how diligent you are reading, and you know, a, a lot of factors go into it. Not just that, but we're all on the same path. We're all trying to get to the same spot, right? So. You got the glory for those to be like you. You know what I mean? Understand that, you know, it's probably however people, how many people are listening, you know, you all probably have issues with, uh, might have an unbelieving wife, unbelieving husband. You know, we, we all have something that we're dealing with. And we talked about this earlier. Not like the devil's work. These work. Things work. 
okay? Trust and believe he has a job to do what he's doing. All right? And it's the old man trying to come back. And don't, don't forget about this. Yo, you could do that. Why not? You're not going to get in trouble. You think God minds? You know, you're almost at the end. You can do whatever. You, you know what I mean? That starts reverberating in your head like, maybe I can do whatever I want. Maybe I, I can go uh, uh, go to this party on the Sabbath. Maybe I can. No. No. So that's why we got we, we all got to, we all should stick together. And it's come, to, come together, oh, nation, not desire. Be separate in this time period. You know, take out the glory. What does that be like? Do you read the next verse? Come. Verse 52. For unto you is paradise open. The tree of light is planted. The time to come is prepared. Plentiness is made ready. A city is built and rest is allowed. Yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. It's right there, y'all. It's right there. Yep. We're closer than you can imagine. Right? Mm. Everything is right there. You know, it's like a seesaw. They're going down. We're going to... Oh, it might be, you know what I mean? It might be bumpy. Don't worry. You know what I'm saying? The most high got you. Keep worrying. It's not helping anything. The only thing that's helping is following the law of that commandment. You can worry all day long and do nothing and your days are waste. Mm-hmm. The law of that commandment, the most high is going to make a way. It's going to make a path. It's already there. Did you read that verse? Verse 53. The root of evil is sealed up from you. Weakness and the moth is hid from you. And corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. Huh. All that stuff that bothers them now, um, when you know, it comes to anxiety, depression, uh, uh, worry, like I said, worry and everything. That's, 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 that's going to be a thing of the past, okay? It's going to be a thing of the past. You got to believe, though. You got to have faith. And it was faith without works and sin. You got to have faith, and you got to move in that direction. Everybody has a job to do. Everybody has a job to do. Once again, everybody has a job to do. Sitting, sitting around and doing nothing isn't your job. All right? If you want to know what your job is, pray. Ask the most high. He'll tell you. You got to be patient, though. This fast food uh, way of thinking, like, I just ordered. I just ordered. Where's my food? You know what I mean? I just prayed. Where's my answer? You might not get an answer immediately. You might not get a dream that night. You might not get a vision that night. You might not have a stranger walk up to you and just tell you everything that you just prayed and they give you the answer that night. But you got to be patient, all right? But, but everything that we want, everything that we desire, everything, the salvation is near, nearer to when we believe. Can you go uh, 54? Oh, sure. Uh, sorrows are past, and in the end, it showed the treasure of immortality. Ah, the treasure of immortality is waiting for you. 55. And therefore, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Yeah, right. Yeah. Don't worry about them. Okay? We got to concentrate on ourselves. You know what I mean? On a multitude of them that perish. All right? <laughs> um, focus in. Verse 51, let that be like you. You know what I'm saying? A multitude that, that perish, you know, uh, they're, they're not here for a reason. You know what I mean? And it's always a reason. But you don't want to focus in on that. Like, for people that have lost their lives and stuff like that, like the other said, people have lost their lives. You read Isaiah 57, 
just a lot of crazy things that's going to happen on this planet. You know? He might have took them out for to, so they don't have to, to deal with this. Like, all right, let me, let me, come on, come on out right now. Okay, it's about to get, it's about to get real crazy. People are going to be coming in and out of people's houses, trying to get water. Get one drop of water. You know, do, do you have canned goods? Or, you know, you know, wake up your neighbors in your house. You know, they know when you're home, it's your neighbor. That's the, that's the time period we're, we're coming into. You know? All right, you go to 56. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. But right, well, some people are, are um, taken off this planet because of that reason. He said, "All right, this is um, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I'm going to do." Like Jay Z said in his shirt. Can't get away from that. Jay Z is on some other stuff, man. You know, I don't care how much money he gives the uh, Black Lives Matter people that got arrested. He's on some other thing. Yeah, man. You know, but he, right now he's still alive. Might not be. He might not be alive this week. Who knows? All right, go ahead. Uh, Fifty-seven. Moreover, they have trodden down his righteous. Uh, you know, for them to get and said in their heart that and that knowing they must die. Yeah, so there's different reasons people perish. All right. If you if you try to figure out why this, that, and the third, that's the most hard job. Most hard did that. All right. Like I said, you know, um, some people is merciful. You know, people are sick. You know what I mean? And you know, just, you know, then. so we we're like we're crying for them. We're crying for us. I like, still got to deal with all this stuff coming. And I'm the spirit world. All right, let's go to uh, Jeremiah 23, verse 20. But we got to stick together. That's the important part. The elder was absolutely correct. We get comfortable with the Internet. You see what's happening to the Internet. There was even a report that came out that said the Internet died five years ago. AI took over. This was, everything was run by artificial. I used to put up a video on YouTube. You could see, if you don't click on it, you could see the words at the bottom of the screen. Like, that, y'all got closed captioned already? I just put the video five minutes ago that it is artificial intelligence. So the algorithm, that's why some words you can't say. So you say it, they flag it. You know what I mean? You got to be careful. But, um, you know, that's the time period we live in. All right, soon. The whole thing is just... I mean, anytime you say anything about an Israelite, anything, you, if they uh, have a picture of Star David or anything, they probably take the body to the channel, take down the video. So getting together, you know, and we're, we're, we're commanded to come together. We're not asking, we're commanded to come together. So do that. Let's just, you know, like the elder said, don't be lazy. No, he's like, ah, I could go, but I have to watch you. You can imagine the things that happen when we all get together. You can imagine the things we see in the skies and the things we experience when we all get together. And you you, you can't see that through a YouTube video. You know, we make the video and, and, and you know, turn it off or we had a feast day and then the, the video goes off. Profound things be happening when we're all in the same room. And you got to be there to experience it. All right. Um, yeah, for now, welcome, Shaw. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 20. When I'm going to have it, say, come. Uh, 
Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 20. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed or uh, until slide. he have perfected. Did you start at 19? Uh, Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 19. Behold, a whirlwind of even a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Huh. So when you see a whirlwind, when you see a, a tornado, right, and it just hits so many people's houses and leaves other people's houses untouched, no accident, perfect aim. Go ahead, give me uh, verse 20, folks, Sean. The anger of the Lord shall till he have executed until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. Hopefully, you can consider it perfectly. You understand what's going on, why it's going on, and that it will continue to go on. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. The Most High said it, and his word is not coming back void. Some people got to go. I mean, a lot of people. This is a global event, an extinction level event, if you will. Esau can't make it. Moab's not going to make it. And all these other nations are, are going to get destroyed. And the ones that aren't getting destroyed are going to be in some iron cotton field. You know, doing annual labor and work. All right, and this is the anger of the Lord. He's furious with these people. Furious. How, much, how many signs can you give a group of people where they realize, all right, let me put my hands up, I lost. They know they're losing. They know the chariots out, outnumber them, outmaneuver them, have better weapons, poking mechanisms, everything. They still keep going. They're like, all right, maybe, maybe they're the tall white men or the Palladians. Maybe those are our people in there. And they know they're not. When they lose a debrief Congress, the guy came out like, yeah, you know, it's like Ezekiel's will, you gotta read it, you know. It's been a long, it's been here a long time. But then he says something that this is mind boggling. He's gotta figure out what we're gonna do about it. Or how we're we gonna, you know, how we're we gonna handle this. Handle what? You just sit on your ground and, and, and sit on the sit in the dust. You already lost. The fact that you've seen them means they want you to see them. So that lets you know it's a wrap. They can be standing right next to you. You can tell. You know? But Esau. Uh, Esau. So it's infuriating the Most High. And the things that he did, that they did to his chosen. You know, he allowed it to happen, but I mean, you're still going to get paid. You're still going to pay back for it. I don't like it. You said it twice. Anytime God says, I hate you, twice, once in the Old Testament, and then people are like, oh, that's just Old Testament. No, he said it in Romans 2. God hates you. You got to be a terrible person for God to sit up the guy in or he hates people. So the anger he has against these people and the other nations run after Esau like he's the uh, best thing to slice bread. And they're all this sliced up right along with him. Start wrapping it up. Let's go to uh, 1 Peter 4, verse 7. So all these things, the whirlwinds, the, the, uh, the floods, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, the sword, the shooting, um, the, the daggone Taliban has $85 billion worth of equipment. They're going to sell around at every, to, to the highest bidder. All this stuff is how the most high is going to plead with all flesh. And there's nothing they can do about it. 
Russia has hypersonic nuclear missiles. They have Tame 1 and Tame 2 and nuclear submarines, and North Korea has nuclear submarines. They're going to use them. And they're all going to point their arrows at Babylon. I, I hit you with this. Uh, I was talking about this earlier. The Babylon, the Allies hate Babylon. The fact that they made the world a lot more less safe by the whole thing they did in Afghanistan and just leaving and all right, y'all, y'all handle it. Like we're far away from Afghanistan. Europe ain't that far. Like they're cl- a lot closer to Afghanistan than we are. You know what I mean? Well, that place turns into a Syria, or it turns into a Libya, and you know now it's got wholesale terrorists and everything like that. And America's like, hey, we I ain't doing anything wrong. They're getting tired of that. The Allies said that. America's allies said that Joe Biden should be court-martialed, not impeached. Impeached is like, all right, you got to get out of office. Court-martialed me, you, you ass on the jail. You know what I'm saying? You're behind going to jail. So this is what uh, generals over there in the U.K. was talking about Biden. Israel wants Biden. Same President Harris. They think by the end of the year, the Democratic Party is going to use the 25th Amendment to get Biden out of there. And that's Israel. So nobody likes this country. The people that live here don't even like this country. The most high doesn't like this country. So what do you think is going to happen? You already know. All right, let's go to uh, First Peter 4 and 7, Brother Shaw. Huh? It's the book of First Peter, chapter four, and verse seven. When number one have it, say con. Uh, uh, first Peter, chapter four, and verse seven. But be ye therefore sober and watch unto pray. Uh, so we was talking about sobriety, meaning Way back and forth. All right, I'm an Israelite. I'm a conscious community. I believe in the African uh, ancestors. Uh, but Buddha has compassion, and you know, I know I'm a creator as well. Law of attraction. Uh, you know, just all over the place. Allah, you gotta understand that Allah is God, right? So the Quran is an extension of. The Bible. You once you read the Bible, then you gotta read the Quran. Listen, man. Relax. Stay focused on the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Holy Bible. Read the prophecies. You know, um, uplift yourself with Psalms. Um, you know, read some Job. Job. You know how you your eyes miss the eye. You know what I mean? Like man, Job. Was, Protect me from all that. Pick the scriptures, you know. And I, I mean, also, you don't want to be drinking a, a, a bottle of vodka every night. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, a bottle of wine every night. But some things are going to happen. It's going to happen quick. You don't want to be wasted when that happens. You know what I mean? So that's not saying don't drink. Just don't overdo it. And watch the prayer. Pray. Constantly, peace, never cease. Pray, wake up, pray. Middle of the day, pray. At night, pray. But keep that mindset. Things are going to start happening. Obviously, so the end of all things is here. This is the end. And we're living in. Many people wanted to see the end of this. Many people, many prophets wanted to see the end of this. And we're, we're watching it. Where shit unfold. All right. So remain focused. Let's go to uh, Revelation 3 and 11. Oh, you got a rescue. Rescues underway at, at hotels in Montgomery County in uh, Concha Hopkins. Concha Hopkins is a nice place to live. You know, they're underwater. 
time he 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 hit perfect game. The ghetto is so strong. You know, it was, it was uh, down by 50 seconds of Whitney. They had, um, this name I know, 50 seconds of uh, Philadelphia. Um, that's being gentrified. That area is being gentrified. Guess what flooded? 50 seconds of Whitney. My name was fine. We, 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 you know, well, you know, I don't even think any trees fell down. So, I, I lived by a bunch of trees. Both sides have good aims, you know what I'm saying? If you had to deal with something, trust me, it, it, I still felt the rain, you know, it was still, you know, windy and rain, you know, like that. But if you're on the call, that means you can survive the night. All great to the most high. All right, so let's keep going forward. All right, um, Revelation 3.11, we got it right out there. Con. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. Everyone have it? Say con. Uh, chapter 3, verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy son. We don't. Oh, so I uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Um, the most high is quick, fast. You see those chariots in the thousands of miles an hour, Mach 10, Mach 11, whatever, and it stops and turns. He's, uh, when, when, it, when it goes down, it's going down. All right. So it's not time. I don't see any time to waste and, and time to, you know, um, I'll repent later. No, repent now. Repent now. Let's go to second Ezra eight and seventeen. Oh, sure. And this is why I take your crown. All right, because it's there for you. It's, it's, it's waiting for you. Folks might knock you off your square. Now you know you now you're going back in the world. Alright, you don't want that. Alright, we want to come on that. Um we'll check it out just eight and seventeen. So you gotta be pretty out. Second, I just shut the eight for seventeen. Never have a click on. Come on. Second, I just shut the eight for seventeen. Therefore, will I begin to pray before thee for myself and for them? For I have seen the falls of us that dwell the land. I got it. So, you know, right, um, Pray for yourself, and you can see what's going on. If you have eyes to see, you can see what's going on. You know, um, you should get more and more thriller. Okay, let's go to Ezra 8 and 17. That's fine, it's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. But we're getting into a time period where it's just getting really, really bad to focus. You know, so you gotta pray for your folks. You know what I mean? Pray out of um faith you have. You know, the amount of trust in the most high. You know, I'm like, oh, I don't know, I'll, I'll jump. I hope hopefully the most high gonna grab me, you know what I mean? But if you let you know, of course he is. Of course he got you back. You know? But pray for your folks. Pray for people that, that might not be that where you're at. I ain't gonna say like that strong or whatever like that. They may not be where you're at. You know, they might have strengths in other other places. It's like uh the next next verse. Verse 18. But I have heard the swiftness. But I have heard the swiftness of the judge which is to come. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's going to be quick. 
chapter 7 Revelation. All right, so now is the time to repent. Now is the time to follow Sam's the law that's committed. You got the ability to continue. All right, you need that protection. We all do. And we need that protection. And we can't do this stuff by ourselves. All right, let's go to, um, let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes. I'm not Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Yeah, Ecclesiastes. Yeah. All right. In the Old Testament, right? Yeah. Old Testament. So we're going to go to um, 12 and 13. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of me. Uh, so, fear God, fear of power, that can, with the, with the wave of the hand, call the tornado, the massive tornado, F3, to destroy the house. Fear of power that can have flooding in, what, I don't know how many states, up the East Coast, from the South, Midwest, up here. Fear the power that can have an earthquake, not even a mass earthquake. You know, it could be a small earthquake and just continue to have a series of small earthquakes that destroy the infrastructure of the houses. Or you can have a mass earthquake and destroy everything. There's nothing that the no power that matches our power. You gotta fear it. And also fear and I pre- you know, appreciate the fact that he loves you. You are you do with all this commandments, he's rocking out with you. That in itself is something to smile about when you wake up in the morning. All this other stuff, whatever is going on in your life, realize that God loves you. Imagine if you're Esau, hey, another smile about it. I don't care how much money, uh, success, power you have, you know, you're going to have your hands in your head like Joe Biden. You'd be on top of the world, but, you know, you just vex all the time. Keep his commandments. And um, that is the lesson. Hopefully, it was edifying. Um, thank you for uh, staying up with me and, you know, uh, listening and taking notes. It's a time period that, you know, the Bible prepares us for. And uh, the men on the corners. And on highways and byways, reading is preparing us for it, you know. Other trial, um, other the box, you know what I mean? 20 plus years preparing us for the time that it's now. You know, so when those others talk, when those others talk, make sure you listen. But hopefully, you're in the right mindset that you should be in in these last days. And with that, um, if anybody have any questions? You know, it's late. Well, um, we, uh, the elder answered your questions when he was on. It was, a, it was, a, it was definitely a treat in these last days. So, um, swap it. Sorry. 
I want to thank you, brothers, man, for coming out and just uh, giving us a lesson, man. You guys did an excellent job.